Shall we see if I am a note? Am I a note on my amp? It says very bad connection. Well, heck. Hang a boot. Let me put you on data. Oh, it won't. Well, well. Oh, come on now. Thank you. Let me make sure you're on data. Oh, really didn't use much this, this time. Maybe I need to stream a bit more. <laughs> well, <laughs> duh. <laughs> that was too. I went. <laughs> Maybe I should stop thinking. I went and turned data off. <laughs> the day before Thanksgiving, because I can ask the meat manager to show him. Oh, his giblets. Oh, Brenda. Dreamwalking Angel. Hi, honey. It is so good to see you. Tara, sweetie. Thank you for stopping in. We have some technetic beats going on in the background. We will be taking a uh, 30 minute walk. But as usual, I can't stay quiet. You know, I have to. Biddy Boo Brown. Hi. Thank you for coming in, sweetie. Dreamwalking Angel. She is an angel. She was here. And she was number one. Woo -hoo. Um. So, some of us have had a big, huge dinner, and some of us haven't had a big, huge dinner. Some of us have eaten anyway, some of us, I don't know, but anyway. So, I'm not going to ask you, because I know a lot of people have been doing this and saying, what are you thankful for? How am I feeling? I'm feeling okay. I'm I'm a bit tired. My, you know, I'm. I mean, we had a house full today. We had ten people in. Um, I was going to try and do a, a hangout earlier today, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. We had ten people over for dinner. Um, you know, it's the same ten people that we nine people with an extra person that we've had. But, um, some of us have cooked a big, huge dinner, yeah. Well, we got one of those dinners, my husband got one and got one of those dinners from, um, oh, where, where was it? Well, it was one of those pre-cooked dinners, and you get a pre-cooked turkey that was freshly frozen. Um... For a, a, um, for a 12 pounder, I don't know how much it all cost, but I bet we could have done it all cheaper. But for a 12 pounder, it, um, cook time was three hours. So, yeah, um, and then it comes with some condiments. It came with stuffing, mashed potatoes. Sweet corn and rolls. Oh, Biddy Boo, they're so sweet. Yep. We all we all think about things like that. Emergency trains and vehicles and aircrafts. Emer actually. Let me read that again. I always get it wrong. Emergency vehicles, trains, aircrafts, and etc. 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 Hi, honey. Thanks for coming in. So I was afraid that we wouldn't have... I was looking at this food and I'm thinking, there's not enough there for 10 people. Because now, some of the people that are now people were children. And they've, you know, gradually grown up. They're like bean poles. Taller than me bean poles now. It's amazing how fast a bean pole can grow in a year. East Dad, hi sweetie, thank you for coming in. So I went and um I went and added 
I cooked last night, I cooked Brussels sprouts and some green beans and added that to the mix and now we've got some left over. Yes, etc, etc, etc. The rain in Spain lays, lays, lies mainly on the plain. Exactly, that's what etc, etc, etc comes from. So, I'm going to do a 30 minute walk soon, but of course you all know I have to talk. What did I do with my cup? I thought we'd have a bit of a cup of tea. Look at this. This one didn't even, this one didn't even have turkey today. Oh, I need to strip stack that bit, don't I? Let me, let me show you this. Now, are we relaxing or what? I mean, is that like... Is that not the epitome of being relaxed? Yes, My Fair Lady. That is the movie, My Fair Lady. I love that movie. Well, he's not, at, well, I guess he is a bit of a fat cat. I mean, all, all his bits have kind of like fallen flat to the side. He's just a big cat. He's a huge cat. So, okay, come, come on back this way. Hello! Coming back down. So, I thought we'd have a cup of tea first, but I seem to have lost my, um... My uh, teapot, my, uh, not teapot, my, um, he's looked at me, the cat's looked at me and said, oh, do you mind? And he's just rolled over. Thought I'd have, a, I'd have a bit of a cup of tea. If I could find my cup, would have a bit of a cup of tea before I start the 30 minute walk that we can all do. And of course, it's going to have to be around the house because it's too cold outside now to do it on the deck. And my husband won't let me go walking off down the street. I think he thinks I'm going to stand on the street corner. No, not really. Not really! Because it's Christmas every day. Yeah, I love that movie, My Fair Lady. Brenda G.C. Sides said, That's what I, I look like if I lay down on a fur coat. <laughs> oh, yes! Heaven help us, don't, June, don't, don't let June lose her teapot. Yeah, really. Yeah, he is bitty. He's beautiful. He's, he's, he, um, he's, he's missing his brother. We all are. We're all missing him. His brother. Um, but I, I won't go there. So it is also good to see you. Now we all need to do a walk. After everything that we've eaten. Now, I wanted you to check, check each other out. Because <coughs> if you don't know each other, check each other out. We have two very crafty people in here. I'm only slightly crafty. But we have... I, oh, you, oh, Biddy Boo. Oh, Tiggy. Um, we had to have him put to sleep. Um, unfortunately, he went into... Um, Severe kidney failure, he only had 5% chance of um, making it with um, treatment. His, his heart wasn't even managing um, the fluids that they were pumping into him. Although he'd been drinking, he'd also been peeing a lot. So he really wasn't keeping the fluids in his system that he needed. It was, um, well... There's no tea in my pot, so I guess I'll just have to turn on the on the on the the, um, the kettle, the tea kettle, as you as you all call it here in the United States. The tea kettle. It is not a tea kettle. It is a kettle. Yes. Sometimes we don't realise that the things that we bring into our house can actually harm. Um, I did not think. I mean, I, I knew lilies were poisonous to cats, but it did not occur to me that the tiny seeds of the uh, tiger lily 
would also be poisonous. And I had brought some into the house and I put them on the top shelf of the um the top top shelf of the um plant rack I have in my room for them to dry because I was going to send them on to somebody else. And after we got home, we were when we rushed takes to the emergency vet they kept saying lily poisoning particularly you know tiger lily and I kept saying no no you know I knew we had them out and, and it didn't occur to me and then when I got home I went and I looked on the rack and I could not find the seeds so even though they're like little bulbs, they actually grow on the plant between the stem and the leaf. And even those are poisonous. So, um, it's still very rough. It's still very rough. But we are not going to talk about that. We are going to prepare... you're going to yes yes um very they're, they're highly toxic highly toxic um it's it's, uh, it's uh, yeah and he only had five percent chance of surviving so we did the best thing for him um, he'd been misdiagnosed for a week with a fur ball, uh, with a fur ball by a local vet, and uh, I'm not going to go into that whole thing. But thinking of others, hi, sweetie. It is so good to see you. Thank you for coming in. We are going to do a 30-minute walk. We all need to do a 30-minute walk, and if you can't get up and actually walk, walk. You can either, if you can stand and do it in place, now you don't have to go fast, you can go slow, and if you can't do that, but you can do it while you're sitting down, you know, lifting your leg up, legs up and down, like that, of course, up and down, you know what up and down is, um, that one, no, 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 let me turn off notifications, there we go. And if you, you know, just make like you're stepping with your feet while you're sitting there, and that way, sorry, that's going to get loud, isn't it? And that way, you exercise your legs and use up some calories that you've just piled on with all the goodies. So I guess what I'll do is I'll set my tea brew in. I'll make a brew. And then while it's brewing, we'll have a we'll have a th we'll have a 30 minute walk and a chat. Because I've been doing a lot of thinking, I've been doing a lot of watching and a lot of listening. A lot of listening and a lot of watching and a lot of thinking. And there are some things that kind of don't seem right, right. Oh, Bitty Boo says, oh, I have been walking all day. <laughs> so have I, but you know what? Not non-stop. I've been going, you know, here, there and everywhere around the house, getting dinner ready, walking around the kitchen and all that kind of stuff. But I have not been doing it non-stop, so I have to do a walk non-stop, but I need to... Oh, the Helms! Hi, sweetie, how are you? Helms of family... Family... Family vlogs. And paranormal. Thank you for coming in. Exook Productions. Actually, it's probably Zook Productions. Because I know the X is probably is often caught. I used to have some 
breathing treatment medication that was spelt with an X. And, and I know some people don't know how it was actually pronounced Zopinex. So Zook Productions is probably X U. It's probably Zook, but it's actually Zook Zook. A zoop zoop eggs 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 ook ook zook all right oh you've been decorating today hey, oh yeah I can imagine it's kicked your ass it would kick my arse too red crit tonight hi sweetie it's so good to see you thank you for stopping in I'm so glad you like your bracelet now had I realized your arms was so big I would have made one a bit longer and a bit thicker longer and thicker all right Jim don't go there don't go there we're being good I'm trying anyway I'll be trying yes I'm very trying sometimes oh better watch what I'm doing it can be very trying sometimes just ask my husband, he'll tell you. <laughs> Not really. So, I guess we will start the 30 minute walk and we shall start talking. Um, Biddy Bill says she has been decorating for two weeks. Two weeks? After the stroke and heart attacks, I am much slower nowadays. Oh, I know that slowness thing. That slowness thing. I have that too. Yeah, I really do. I have that slow thing going on. So, how am I doing? And yes, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm a little bit full. Well, I'm not, well, not, I, you see, I don't overindulge in food unless it's chocolate. Then, yeah. And especially if it's, Chocolate from the UK. Oh my goodness. There's a guy who's had too much turkey. <laughs> he can't walk. Can you, can you? Shall we dance? Da, 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 da. <laughs> the, there's plenty of room in the kitchen. You pick a you pick a you pick a pick a lane. Pick a lane as they say. Okay, so we're going to start the 30 minute walk and talk. Oh, you are full as well, Red Kryptonite? That's good, honey. Oh, you do have vids put up of your... Oh, Biddy Boo, I'm going to have to take a look at that. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Now, we've got two crafty people in the, in the room. So I am going to say this. Both of them are mods, so you can put your links up. Brenda and... Um, Oh, she can call you Nalisha, but that's not your channel name, is it? Dreamwalking Angel. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, girls. Um, that's uh, to the Etsy store. So, and the reason why I'm mentioning is this, is because Christmas is coming on. Pamela Lynn, lots of love, honey. I hope you had a good day, too. Um, yes, it was a good day here for us, and we're starting a 30-minute walk. Um, yeah, now we're starting a 30-minute walk. That was one to work. That was at 25 after. 25 past, as we say in the UK. <clears throat> Make sure I don't get stuck. So we're, we're off and walking, and there's dream, they're dream walking and link. And the reason why I mention it, because Christmas is upon us. And there are some that are not able to get out and do the shopping. And that is Technetic Beats we are listening to when we stop in here. And to save myself from getting dizzy, I'm backing up. Beep, beep, beep. Now I'm going forward. Um, there are some people that can't get out and do the shopping. And I know they say, you know, support your local stores and all that. Well, to me... While we are on the internet, the local store is whoever you support. And we support Brenda GC Signs and Dreamwalking Angel. 
Oops, I stopped for a second there. So, they are some stores that I recommend that you go check them out. They have all kinds of stuff. Um, and they take orders too. Actually, Brenda might, 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 might whoop me upside the head for that one. And Alicia might too, because they've been, they've been working like crazy. <clears throat> Honey? Honey? Can you do me a favour? And move um, Tippy's food? <sighs> yeah, please. Because I'm going to get hung up on it with my, with my line as I keep walking. So that's why I do keep telling them, especially now, because it is that time of the year where we need to start thinking about what we're going to Because let me tell you something, it's going to be on as quick. It depends, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of um, holiday you celebrate. It's the holidays. It's coming up to that time of the year. So... I, I highly recommend those two, that you take a look at them. Oh, I'm out of puff. Um, now, I have been thinking, I know there's only eight people in here, but that's okay. I don't mind. Don't care. Well, actually, I do care. But I don't mind that there's only eight people in here. Um, I was listening, I've been listening to conversations I've been listening to live streams. I've been, you know, listening to things on TV, you know, that are live. And I'm going to turn that down. So every time we walk past it, it's, uh, I'm probably going to get a, a thing for it. Um, and I've been hearing... You know, some things that are just not real nice. It just seems that people don't think anymore about how they talk to others. And that's not nice. That's, that's kind of upsetting. Um... And uh, Brenda says, no, Dreamwalk, oh, well, here I go again. Dreamwalking Angel says, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, I am working on right now. Um, have the, have, have three more orders to go. I am busier than a one-armed paper hanger. Brenda says, um, finer. And tree, finer, finer and frogs, hang a boot, finer and frogs, fuzz split six ways, ha <laughs> ha, frogs fuzz, oh that's a hell of a mouthful, oh gosh, oh red kryptonite, I love you so much honey, and I do appreciate you being in my family, um, you know we're here to help each other. But part of the conversations that I've been hearing and things I've heard people say um, really makes me wonder, um, do, do they really think before they say things to people? Do they really think before they put the words out there? Because when they put the words out there, I mean, when you think about it, when you put word out there, thank you ever so much. Thank you ever so much to the Helms family and vlogs and paranormal. You take care. Thank you ever so much, sweetie. <laughs> um, you know, really, people are not really thinking. It's not just what they say, but it's also how they say it that is becoming a problem. 
And I've been noticing that um, some of the things that are being said are, are not so nice. And I've often, I, you know, I've been thinking to myself, would they say that to, let's say, their spouse? Would they say that to their daughter or their son? Would they say that to their wife or their husband? And I know things that we say sometimes we mean they are in jest. Sometimes things that are supposed to be in jest are not in jest. And it doesn't come across that way. And I think it's okay to be critical. Somebody today was talking about being a critical thinker and being hired because they were a critical thinker. I'm sorry if you're watching. And I was listening to what she was saying. And I was kind of like, really? Sad thing is, most people do say those things to their spouses. Yes, that is so true. And what was said about this critical thinker, or what this person said about their boss, and what they s supposedly said to their boss, kind of made me sad and it shocked me because there's a right way to be critical and a wrong way to be critical there's a right way of saying something and a wrong way of saying something um very frequency hi sweetie Thank you for coming in. I'm getting all caught up in all kinds of things here while I'm walking around. We've got rugs and stuff on the floor. So, and it's okay to be a critical thinker. It's okay to be tact and respect. It has been... Dying for a long time, exactly, dreamwalking angel. And I mentioned to this young lady today that that's your boss you're talking to. Because I was really shocked that she hadn't lost a job. And I did say to her, she says, so? And then she started telling me that her boss had talked to her with disrespect, da da da, and all this kind of stuff. Well, if you approach your boss that way, you know, respect begets respect. Um, and I said to her, you know, there's a way of saying things. Well, of course, the boss shouldn't have talked to her the way that the boss did. And I said, there's a way to communicate. Well, the boss doesn't communicate correctly. The boss shouldn't learn to create, communicate correctly. And I'm like, really? Um, and I said to her, you could lose your job. And she says, so, I'll get another one. And I said to her, well, then why don't you, if it's that bad? Well, of course, you ended up justifying, you know, her words and what have you. Now, whether these words were actually spoken and actually came out between her and the boss, I don't know. But it kind of brought me to a lot of what I see going round. Two wrongs don't make a right exactly. Exactly, Brenda. You know, it's made me think about 
a lot of things. Oh, yes, yeah. I might disagree with what somebody's doing. And I may tell them. Or I may not. And I might talk to a friend about it. Or I might not. But if I talk to the person who I don't agree with what they're doing, if I talk to them, I'm going to be, well, I'm going to try my best anyway to be thoughtful. Now, I'm not going to say that my husband and I don't have words because we do. I'm not going to say I don't snap at my husband because I do. I mean, I do. <laughs> but if I see I've hurt him, I apologize. Maniac Grammy, hi sweetie. Biddy Boo says people seem to have no respect for anyone, especially the younger generations. That is so true. You see, and that brings me to YouTube. YouTube is a great platform. Social media can be a great plat is and can be a great platform depending on how we use it. Now, if we're going to use it to bring people down, to dress them down, to say things, whether we mean it or not, in a bad way, but to say things that are not nice and just blurt it out, and then when when it's said, if they are told that they have hurt someone and that someone's hurt by it, rather than simply, I know sometimes sorry is the hardest word to say for some people, but sometimes it's necessary. Um, Gamer, honey, hi, sweetie, it's so good to see you. And Alicia says, some people don't know how to separate the person's actions um, from the person, ay, 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 from the person themselves, exactly. Not making it personal and staying on topic about the behavior and not the person. Exactly. Exactly. Manners and etiquette is not taught anymore. That is true. It is so sad that, that it, it's absolutely true. And thank you, yours. Thank you, Gamer. Um, it breaks my heart to see and hear people addressing other people down. Um, and I'm not talking physically, obviously. This is one of my more serious moments. But I, I, it's... If you don't agree, if you're being, if you are critical, there is a way. You're almost at, oh, that's wonderful, Gamer X. You keep up the good work. Oh, Gamer, you are so sweet. Thank you ever so much, honey. Just being here, you know, you being here and you coming in just makes my heart warm. Um, I'm so thankful that you're here, and not because it's Thanksgiving, but because I truly am. Um, you are a wonderful person, and I'm very proud of um, 
how far you've come so far because you've been doing really well, aren't you? Um, so, um, now then, I think it's, I think if, if someone is hurt by the words that are spoken, either to them or not so much about them, but to them or within a conversation, within, within, within a conversation in general, but they know, you know, where it's directed. If it's within a video, but they know where it's directed. Um, if it's in a live stream, but they know where it's directed. And they let someone know that they're hurt by such words. Um, then I think it's up to us, the people that utter those words, and that's technetic beats in the background there. And I'm losing my sock, so I'm just going to let it go. Um, I think it's up to us, those of us, that utter those words that hurt, that utter those words in the wrong manner, and that utter those words, whether they be directed or not at a person. I think it's up to us to apologize, and apologize properly, not a flaky apology. Um, this is something I've been thinking about a lot lately uh, because of a lot of things that I've been hearing, seeing, um, reading that's going on. Um, not just in social media, but, you know, in life in general. Ah, Alexander! Hi, sweetie! Ah, oh, good, June, get it out there. As people get hurt by other people attacking them for stuff that is just stupid in the first place. Exactly. Um, oh, I, yeah, I know Gamer X, and I'm so sorry about that, sweetie. Um, Dreamwalking Angel says, This is called integrity and character. Many people lack it. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All right, all right, Bitty Boo. Bitty Boo has a deep fib vest on and she needs to take it off for a while. You do, honey. Take it easy, okay? I'll be here for a bit. Because after my 30 minute walk, I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'll have a cup of tea and a chat. Margie Yomans! Whoop, 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 whoop! Good evening, my sweet lady. It is so good to see you. Um, yes, all went well with dinner. I actually thought we wouldn't have enough food, but we had enough food left over that we gave um, our number two son some food to take home with him so he doesn't have to cook. Um, I'm not sure how much he took home. I he had a, two paper plates sandwiched together. I would have given him more because it looks like there's a lot more left than I expected it to be. So, and oh yes, they enjoyed their sweet, the sweet potato. They all thought it was funny. They all laughed. Of course, I didn't show the kids it. Now the kids, mind you, are bean poles and they're all taller than me now. So, but oh my gosh, they laughed. Yeah, the adult kids, they laughed. They thought it was so funny. Uh, uh, Alexander said, yeah, here it's been a few times where I've had to apologize for things I haven't done due to people having uh, 
their feelings hurt by the way I come out with things. Exactly, Alexander. It's, it's, sometimes it's, it makes you go, oh man, do I have to explain myself again? Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, the sweet potato was also a bit limp. Um, oh, you're making rice pudding tomorrow? Oh, Brenda, I love homemade rice pudding. Oh, man, my mum used to make a killer homemade rice pudding. So, and, and yeah, there's that. Sometimes that we come across not so right. But if it's hurt somebody, we have to let them know that that was not our intention. That is our responsibility as humans being kind to humans, or being thoughtful, kind and considerate to others. It is our job to do that. Um, but as of late, there seems to be a lot of dressing down of people. And a lot of telling people the things they are doing are wrong. A lot of telling people they shouldn't do this and they shouldn't do that. Um, this is expected of them, that is expected of them. Yes, we have expectations of each other. That is human nature. But you have to be... Can you put your earbuds in, babe? But we have to be realistic of our expectations of each other, right? Um, now, this also brings me to um, comparing ourselves. If they can't apologize and go on the defensive, oh, let me go back. Uh, I take that to mean that they aren't sorry and meant to meant it the way it was delivered. Exactly, Brenda. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Alexander says we shouldn't have to constantly explain ourselves to others. Um, we just come out with things differently because we see them differently to others. Well, that's true. Charlene Indiana Fishing, how is your hubby? I was thinking about you. And uh, your hubby, how are things, honey? That's true, Alexander, but if somebody is hurt by the words we speak, then shouldn't we apologize? I mean, shouldn't we? I mean, Erica's wacky world. Hello, sweet pea. It is so good to see you. Um, humming. Uh, la la la. Lying. Phew, it's hard to walk and read at the same time. To multiple songs playing all at once. Oh my gosh, on your computer. Oh gosh, when they say I'm sorry, oh. Dreamwalking Angels, when they say I'm sorry, you got hurt by what I said. It isn't taking responsibility exactly for their actions. It's accusing you of being emotional and not a real apology at all. Exactly, honey. Exactly. You're still about the same, Charlene. Everyone, please keep Charlene's husband. In your prayers, send healing energy, um, because it is needed. Margie says, um, as adults, we should be able to disagree and agree um, to adults and, and respect our different opinions. Exactly. 
Exactly, yep. There is that. Sandra, hi, sweetie. Oh, thank you ever so much. I hope everything well went, went well with your day. We had a beautiful Thanksgiving. We had a wonderful day. I got to hold the baby for quite a while. Yes, yeah, she yup chucked on me somewhere, but that's okay. I shall save that spot. No, not really. <laughs> uh, uh, Alexander says, yeah, apologize to that one person. Oh, okay, yep, exactly, Alexander. I apologize to that one person who got their feelings hurt in the first place and not, not have to put it out there for everyone else to see. Exactly, Alexander. Exactly. Exactly. Dreamwalking Angel, it says it takes being a humble person to accept the fact that you should, you could have possibly made a mistake and then care enough to apologize for that mistake. Country girl, I love you, sweetie, across the universe. How are you? I hope you're still happy. I know Andy is a wonderful guy and I've just got myself stuck on the trash can. There we go. There we go. We are on the same. Yes. Um. Well, exactly, exactly. If we were perfect, then we wouldn't be human. That is so true. And that's also why, really, it's our responsibility to step up. Blow hole! Hashtag Team June! Whoop, 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 whoop! We're coming to the end of our 30 minute walk. I'm telling you, this is whooping me. My back hurts. Maybe I just need a good burp. Sorry. Uh. Yeah, that happens, Margie, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that does happen. We are going to have a cup of soup. Now, the other thing that I want to touch upon that I've been thinking about is I have people that constantly say to me, I need some laxative. <laughs> Brenda, you're too funny. <laughs> um, one thing I want to touch upon is two ways. I have people constantly saying to me, Honey, can you put your earbuds in, please? Can you put your earbuds in, please? What? Oh. Can I put what? Your earbuds in. They're out on the floor next to you. Thank you. <laughs> if you can't hear me as I'm walking past you, maybe it's a little bit too loud. That's technetic beats that we're listening to as we walk past in here. <sighs> Alexander Smith says, Yeah, I get that, Auntie J. Um... When I walk and your back starts to hurt and it's not easy when you have... Well, yeah, that's true. It's not easy for anybody if it hurts. Hi, Biddy Boo. Welcome back, honey. I hope you're sitting down and resting. Um, it, um, the other thing I was going to touch upon is I have people that are saying to me, and I've heard them saying to others, Oh, but what you're going through is worse. Um... The way you hurt is worse. I've seen people compare their pain to other people's pain. Um, and that's something that we really can't do. We really can't do. Um, you 
the situation you're going through, Blowhole? Did I miss something? Did I not read a message? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. So, people... Oh, wait a minute. Give, give me a nudge there, Blowhole. Do you mean your wife? Um... Jungle, I'm having a bad flare. Country girl, oh, I need to lay down. I just wanted to pop on. Oh, everyone, send a lot of healing energy too to country girl. She has rheumatoid arthritis and it flares up really badly. Oh my gosh, you should see the way her, her joints swell up. Oh. Oh, Dream Walking Angel says, I'm so guilty of doing that. Yes, you are. Dream walking angel will say to me, Oh, I'm hurting, but it's nothing like what you're going through. Please. We can't do that. We can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that either to yourself or to others because pain, pain is personal. Um, it affects everybody differently doesn't matter whether you just stub your toe because to one person now if I stub my toe it's not that bad if my husband stubs his toe he'd sense him reeling and I'm not going to say to him oh it's not that bad you know quit it you can't do that because there is nothing that really indicates exactly how much pain somebody is going through. Um, oh yeah, sometimes we may, you know, be a bit snippy or we may be quiet or we may overreact, which can be an indicator of the fact, and I think I've just hit five, uh, 30 minutes, um, which can be an indicator of how much pain you know, a person is going through. But there are some people that actually can laugh through the pain. So, I am never going to tell you that what you're dealing with is worse than mine or less than mine. Never. I am never going to tell you that your pain is either worse than mine or less than mine. Never. Because I can't. Now, yes, there are people out there that do complain a lot. Um, but, and, and yes, sometimes you, you know, it's that you want to go, oh, please, you know, stop. But, is it really our responsibility? To take that person, to tell, well, to tell that person to stop, is it? Is it really? Is it our responsibility? Or is it our responsibility to show them in a nice way, a different way of dealing with that pain? And dealing with the complaints that they have. Now, some of the complaints are minor complaints. What we think are minor complaints. But they're not really. And once my ex-husband used to moan and complain and get aggravated about the simplest of things. And I once looked at him and I said to him, because he was a devout Catholic, well, his family was devout Catholic. And I looked at him and I said, God sent you the little things to aggravate you, to remind you just how good you have it. You have a roof over your head, you have food in your stomach. So, you know, sometimes I think it's how we approach a situation, it's how we approach a person. It's how we talk to a person. Um, 
that is very important. Um, Margie says yes and treatments are individual exactly also what works for one person may not work for another and not one can be compared that is so true Margie Alexander says pain becomes heartbreaking and even worse when a family is separated from each other and can't see each other because they can't get on or because of something that happened between them it's very true Alex very true and you know people have actually died of a broken heart maybe not so much these days but the older generation yeah and no, that's not including me I'm talking about those older than me you know the older older generation because there's still a lot of them around um, Biddy Boo says I have an extremely high pain threshold I do not normally complain, but if I start shaking, hubby knows I am in pain. See, that's that's that shows that your hubby is is being you know thoughtful. He's being aware. He's being compassionate because he can see even if it's you know I mean he he can see. J. Morgan Angel says I also have a. A uh, high pain tolerance too, Biddy Boo. If I am sharing something about it, it's real bad. Yeah, exactly. You see, so, and and that's just it. So, because you know, and I I had a I've I had the pain doctor that gives the injections in my neck. You know, he told me that. I have a high pain tolerance and I told him I feel like a baby like you know since I've not been able to take my pain medication um, and I, I don't feel like I have a high tolerance and he told me he says no you're one tough cookie I don't feel like a cookie maybe I'm a soft dough cookie lately it's still wobbling by the way so um I think there's a right way and a wrong way. So if there's any young ones that do actually... Ah, Margie says the problem is I'm stubborn. Oh, maybe that's why so many of us in the community get unwell together because we're all a bit stubborn or a bit too stubborn or a little bit too, too stubborn or maybe a lot stubborn maybe but I think I think you know I, I don't know how to bring it all back the more pain I'm in the more I laugh why I don't know oh my godness blowhole I know other people that like that too isn't it crazy isn't it absolutely crazy um, so I am, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, the message you sent in Twitter. I'll have to check that out, Blowhole. I am so sorry. Um, Sandra says, I just came in for a minute. I am just crazy about June, but I have company. Ow! If you are still here, Sandra, please tell your company that we all send them our love. Sorry, I missed that. Oh, man. See, it's hard to read when you're walking. I'll read their message on, um, on Twitter in, in, um, when I get through. But, yeah, some people do do that, too. Blowhole, some people laugh. Um, Biddy Boo says they gave me low-dose Loratab once. And, man, I was... Oh, my goodness. I told a doc. He could keep, <laughs> and I will suffer through it. I don't blame you, honey. I do not blame you. Yeah, I would be. I would not be happy with that either. I mean, I, I don't like things like that. That that do that do. I mean, my, my brain's crazy enough as it is. I mean, I, I don't need. I, I I don't need. You know, anything else that's going to make it go nuts. So. I guess 
guess what I'm trying to say is we really need to be on somehow we have to there has to be a way of of hopefully getting others to see that dressing down of people saying things to people that can be hurtful that are hurtful not being thoughtful kind of considerate maybe there's a way that we can teach people you know bring it back um yeah, it's, oh, uh, yeah, and Blowhole said, I think it's automatic self-defense. Could be. Margie says she is stubborn, especially with her health. We know our bodies, and sometimes it's um, harder to explain or take the energy. Then it's like, forget it and laugh and mumble anyway. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> I do that. Uh, Biddy Boo says, oh, I was seeing little people in my room. I was telling hubby to get them out. Oh, really? Because I couldn't sleep. Uh, him and the kids were laughing at me because no one was there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Did they have little elves hats on or little pixie hats? or That'd be a good one. So I, I think what I'm trying to say, because I know there's people that watch my videos later on, is can we kind of, can we be a bit more thoughtful towards each other? Can we be a bit more considerate and kind towards each other? Um, like I said, it's, it's okay to be critical, but be critical in the right way. Um, you don't have to be, you don't have to go stomping on someone's toes to say, oh, you really want to feel what pain is like? <clears throat> oh, they look like gnomes. Oh my gosh. I love gnomes. Oh my gosh. Margie says, Biddy Boo, mine would be little dust bunnies. <laughs> I love gnomes too. So, I don't know. Can we maybe somehow get others to see that, you know, that if someone comes to us and said they're hurt, don't get defensive, you know, apologize. Um, Uh, Biddy Boo says I do too, but we're laughing too loud and keeping me awake. Oh, they were keeping you. Oh my gosh. The little monkeys. There's little monkeys. You know, I, that, that, I don't know. There has to be a way of, of, of getting across to people rather than being mean, um, rather than dressing them down in public. Um, whether it be one person or people in general, um, is there a way of, of, you know, when, when somebody is complaining of, of showing them a different way of doing something and if they say, well, I can't or I'm not able to. I don't know how. Um, maybe sometimes the best thing to do is to leave them think about it for a while. Because sometimes information that we share with people on how to handle things or which direction to go in or anything like that sometimes it takes a little while for that information to sink in 
sometimes it just takes a little while for them to understand what it is that you're trying to tell them. Um, we don't always have to make a point. Oh, I'm getting all caught. Say, look, I'm in a knot. I'm just, I'm, I'm just all twisted. Sometimes we don't really need to make a point, do we? Brenda G says, I'm so disgusted with the arguments taken to live streams and only one side presented to public audience. The drama needs to be kept private or not done at all exactly. Laughter is the bed med best medicine and being kind is, pr is, a is priceless. Exactly, Margie. Um, and Bitty Boo says, in the way, that was only... 2.5. Oh, really? Good grief. Imagine if you'd have had their full dose. Margie says, sometimes you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. That, that is also true. That is also true. Um, and so, in, in that case, you know, what do we do? What do we do? Um, hang about. I've just got to get my lead back. Well, not my lead, my tail. I mean, I mean my tail. Um, uh, Margie, sometimes you have a mule. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you have a mule and can't even lead it to water. Ah, that's a good one. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Dreamwalking Angel says, "Me too." Brenda, G Designs. It needs to be one on one and never put out there on social media. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Biddy Boo says, "I always say you can kick and kick a dead horse, but." That son of a gun won't get up. Yeah, that's a good point there. That's a good point. I've seen, and the other thing I've seen too is, which made me, made me, made me sad. Made me very, very sad. That if you know that somebody has been hurt, don't make a joke of it. Don't make a joke of it. Because that's not right. It's not right. And I'm not going to go sit here and start going all angry and all, you know. You shouldn't do this. I'm not going to do that, but. It's not. Oh, I forgot. Oh my goodness. Do you like my ceiling? Let me bring it all back down here. Um, I thought I just saw somebody say something about liposuction. Did I, did I get that right? Now you can see where all my beading stuff went when we cleared off the dining room table. I hope you noticed as I was walking around the kitchen how nice and tidy it was. Yeah, it's taken us three days to get it there. Uh, Margie says toxicity and negativity can drain you sometimes and you need to walk away. Exactly. Uh, Dreamwalking Angel says it's liposuction of the soul, Margie. I can feel myself getting exhausted being around them. Yes. Um, only walk if you can't run. That, that's true. That is so true. Only walk if you can't run. Yeah. Because toxicity, you know, negativity. And I mean, yes. Okay. I'm going to put it out there. My husband. My, my husband. 
can be very negative at times. And it does get very draining and I do tell him. I do tell him. I tell him he's being negative again and he, you know, he tells me. He says, no, I'm being realistic. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, are you kidding me? Ah, ah. I'm like, oh, my goodness. How do I not? I just kind of shake my head. Oh, I start laughing. I shake my head. Yeah. Yes, YouTube, I do want to continue watching. That's the same script I hear. Word for word, says Dreamwalking Angel. Hmm. He says, no, I ain't. I just ain't living a damn dr a dream. Not a damn dream. No, I ain't. I just ain't living in a dreamland. Oh, my God. Lee Shannon, hi, sweetie. It is so good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and Brenda G says, and that's why I'm single. Now that reminds me, Brenda G has some funny videos up, so I, I recommend you go take a look at them if you're you're not feeling so up to par. And if you can't hear me, if the music's too loud, let me up. So see, June, my hubby is the same way. I think it's a man thing, Biddy Boo. I think it's a man thing. I do. Yep. It's just too funny. Boy, there's a lot of people going live, isn't it? Uh, their attitude is equivalent to the man cold. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry, we're not pulling you down. Sorry. We're just having a giggle. Uh, Margie says Brenda G's design yes she has videos on that yes she does and that's why I'm single she Brenda G has videos called and that's why I'm single um uh, Biddy Boo says I still want to make it up that way to see you June but I have to get a better vehicle first Biddy boo, that's okay. There's going to be plenty of time, honey. I promise you, I am not going anywhere. Uh, Blowhole says, sorry, I spaced out. I'm making part two of my last video. Oh, neat. That's okay. You can space out. I don't mind. Ginny, hi, sweetie. Uh, Ginny says, my husband calls those kind of people emotional vampires. Yes, they can be emotional vampires. There are people like that around. There are also what I call energy vampires. And they're people that don't even know. I mean, you just have to be around them and you start feeling the energy being drained from you. Mm. Mm. It is exhausting. It can zap you of your energy. But sometimes, you know... People, some people, sometimes people don't realize that being negative. Um, and what is being negative anyway? That's another thing I've been thinking of. What is being negative anyway? Because it doesn't matter if, if you're in a conundrum, okay, and you can't see any way out, and you're talking to someone about that conundrum, and you're saying, I can't. Well, that's being negative. And then when you say, well, I don't know, that's being negative. And if you say, I am unable, then that's being negative. So, how do you put it then? That you're in a conundrum and you can't see a way out of it. Biddy Boo says, well, June, honey, it was so good seeing you. I have to go. My hubby needs something. Oh, Billy Boo! 
Michael. It was wonderful having you in, honey. It's so good to see you. Can't wait to see you when we see you. <laughs> you take care, sweetie, and look after yourself. And, and, and give hubby a hug from us. Um... Blowhole says, I'm told I have a very positive energy. You actually do, Blowhole. You actually do, honey. Paya! Paya Hess. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Oh, thank you ever so much, honey. I hope you had a wonderful day, because we sure did. Um, yes, I managed to do my 30-minute walk, and Paya is just stopping in, because she's off to go sleep. Sweet dreams, honey. Sweet dreams and sleep well. Oh no, not not that. I would just <laughs> precious memories in that area. <laughs> I think a few of us are. <laughs> I think we can relate to that. I do. So that I was thinking about too is is what exactly is being negative? Because I was listening to something this morning and I was listening to someone saying that they don't know how they can't because they were unable because they couldn't think of um and they were no matter how they put it they were being told they were being negative really so if you're trying to express yourself and express how you're in a conundrum and that you're unable to do something is that really being negative I don't know. Oh yeah, blowhole, yeah. Blowhole says I've walked into rooms where people were arguing and they have calmed down. Yes. That is a good energy to have. It's a very good energy to have. So they were the things things that I've been thinking on. Um have you noticed that when hair starts to go grey, it gets this wiry behaviour and it won't do what you want it to do? It's not, I mean, my hair, it's like, there's bits that keep sticking out. Melissa Moran, honey, it is so good to see you. How are you? The only thing is, I'm afraid to like snip those grey hairs out because I'm already losing my hair. I've got a lot less hair than I used to. So, I might do a Sinead O'Connor and just zip it all off. Maybe? No? No? Maybe? Yes? No? Maybe? Is that being negative? I'm saying maybe? Yes? No? Maybe? Oh yeah, it's tune, it sticks up. Yeah, exactly, it sticks up in the oddest ways, doesn't it? Like we put our finger up in a light socket. Ah, <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. Melissa Morin said, thankful just to have life. Exactly, sweetie. I am doing fine. I am doing really well. We had a wonderful day. We had fun. They, their grandkids are growing up. They're like bean poles. They're a lot taller than I am. Now. I mean, they've shot up. One of them I actually saw being born. I swear he's two foot taller than I am. Maybe not. Yet. Quite. I actually probably know. He's probably a foot taller than me. Wax your hair up in a monk 
Oh, and a mohawk! Ah, I was gonna say a monk. Are you sure she's doing a monk? Wax your hair up into a mohawk. Dare to be different. There you go, Brenda G. There you go. Dare to be different. We all dare to be different. We all dare to be in our own way. And that brings me back to the topics that we've been talking about tonight. We're all different. So, who's to say? Who's to Sorry. Sorry. So, who's to say? One way or another, that we're, you know, somebody's being... negative but <clears throat> I just don't I just don't know I just don't know but these are the things that I've been thinking about over the past <clears throat> few months and it's been coming to my mind a lot more over the past I would say a few weeks dogs want out oh god dog what dog one now Brenda um, oh yes, different keeps everyone guessing. So true, Margie. One of these days, I'm gonna order. I'm gonna. Well, I'm not. I'm not. But I'm gonna get my husband to get get me some of those um, coloured hair wax things. Because I think they'll be right cool. Because you can get them in all kinds of colours, even purple. Ah, wouldn't that be cool? I'm trying to let I'm trying to let TJ Explores know I'm I'm live because we were talking and her um, internet went out and I just got a quick message from her but I didn't see it so let me see if I can let her know there we go on here. TJ Explorers can come in. So, um, I didn't mean to be on too long anyway. So, what do y'all think to my thoughts? What do y'all think to my thoughts? Um,. Let me scroll down a little bit. Okay. Oh, just one wants out. Okay, Brenda. Um, Ginny Book said, Jilly Bullock. <laughs> Sorry. Ginny says, the world would be a boring place if we didn't have differences. Exactly, but there's a, diff there's a difference between having differences and not being nice in the way we deal with those differences. Um, Margie says, my dogs watched me leave, um, <clears throat> came home and they both wrapped their bodies in now, in my now broken blinds. Oh no! And when you came home, they'd wrap themselves up. Oh my goodness, Margie. Little monkeys. Um, Dreamwalking Angel says we are on the same page. Melissa Morin says, what are thoughts on whom are controlling this world? Um, that I'd rather not go into, Melissa, because, dang. It, 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 it. It really makes you, dang. Thank you, Dreamwalking Angel. I mean, thoughts are not those that are contra. Well, I think they really need to get their act together. That's all I can say. Or hand it to us to let us do it. 
think we'll be doing a better job. Us little folks down here. Ah! Blowhole Team Junior! I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can, um, I wonder if I can, um, send a quick message without, how do I do that? Oh, no. I lost it. Oh, man. Oh, how do I do that? And welcome back, Brenda. Oh, Facebook, maybe. Ha, 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 ha. I mean, you know, I mean, we all have sayings like there's that saying where there's a will, there's a way. But sometimes, yeah, I, I, yep, that's true. But sometimes a person doesn't have the will anymore. It's not that they're being negative. It's not that they're being a downer. It's not that... It's just that they've lost the will. So, shouldn't we help them find the way? Hi, Sherry K! Yes! How's our baby? Yo! How's our how's your daughter? Oh my goodness! It, I, I can't wait. Ah! The little baby granddaughter came over today. Oh man, I held her and I hugged her and I, I rocked her and I kissed her and I taught her. She laughed and she giggled and she up chucked on me and that's okay. Um, Margie says, June, when I say stubborn, I could have never lived without being respected or loved or an equal God bless my husband, R.I.P. His strengths in guiding me now. Exactly. Oh, the person's will is broken. Exactly. Oh, she's healthy. Oh, yes. So exciting. We have a new baby coming in February. We do. We have a new baby in February. I can't wait. Mm. Hopefully she'll see that. So, these are the things that I've been mulling over. These are the things that I've been thinking. Yeah, there's my PJ right there. Pink ones. Funny looking things on them. It's supposed to be owls, I think. You know, night owl. Uh, Dreamwalking Angel, we are supposed to lift each other up when you see someone whose hope is gone. Exactly. Exactly. Um, not tell them that they are being negative. Oh, tell them to stop thinking negatively. Um... I, I am just kind of shocked and my heart hurt over some of the things that I've seen.
Okay. Some people are hypocrites, Alicia. They say they are here to lift people up, but in private they actually turn their back on us. Yep. Melissa says, June, it's always nice to drop in and hear your thoughts on different things in life. Uh, still next time, still till next time. Oh, you bless you, Melissa. Thank you ever so much for coming in. You have a wonderful night and sleep well, sweetie. Um, Dreamwalking Angel says, sometimes it is a telltale sign that the person doesn't care for you and doesn't want to hear about your problems. When they say that, they're not listening to your heart exactly. Um... Blowhole says, I also say, stay positive. Well, you know, the thing is, Blowhole, that expression is okay to a certain extent, but really, it's not humanly possible to stay positive I mean we can be positive we can try to be positive but we can't always be positive and we can't always stay positive oh yeah 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 I would try and talk to I, I get it blowhole I just I just remembered now yeah I think I remember your message Scotty I remember um yeah sometimes it's not helping telling people to be positive it's kind of like helping but not helping Remember, if you're dealing with negativity, you will get negative. Ah, but I have also thought on that one too, Margie. Not always. Not always. You can get down. It can bring you down. It can make you dip into that, that area. But if you're strong and confident within yourself, you can actually bring yourself back up. Unless you have somebody that's constantly pulling you down, then then it's it's hard to to to. And Margie said that's when I walk away. I get it. I get it. I get it. I do. I understand. I get it. Um. You know, and that's, that's the other thing that's been going through my mind is people pulling people down. You know, it's... Hi, buddy. How are you? Yeah, I love you too. Did you have a nice nap? I have no idea what he's looking at and what, what he's following. Yeah.
Oh my god. Um, okay, the whole thing of correcting each other with stay positive and you're just being negative is insulting. It means they aren't listening to you that you didn't that uh, they, that they didn't care about what you are saying. Yes. Just how when someone sees themselves in a position that they can correct you when you didn't give them that authority exactly, then they are manipulating and trying to dominate. Yeah. That's one thing with social media. It doesn't matter which platform you're on, just social media, media in general. We are always open to so many different personalities, so many different types of people, um, so many worlds, because we all live a world away, but we all live really close, if that makes sense. Sherry K says, I'm always positive, positive that there will always be hard days ahead. Ah, I love that one. I love that one. That is there the issue, unfortunately. Yes. Unfortunately so. With social media, what's happened with social media, I think? What's happened with social media is that we have come into contact with a variety of personalities that we wouldn't have normally been in contact with, that we wouldn't have come face to face with, that we wouldn't have ex made exchanges with. And we don't know how to deal with it correctly. And rather than continue being polite, thoughtful, kind, caring, and considerate, everyone's starting to go the opposite way and, and not be nice, not be kind, be thoughtful, caring, and considerate. Oh, Lori, honey, welcome. I was talking about you today to my family. She says, happy Thanksgiving, a goal. I got my double pumpkin cheesecake tonight. Oh, good for you, honey. I hope you'd enjoy it. Three Morkin Angel says, I mean, I always want to ask the person, who do you think you are? If you aren't feeding me, paying my bills, or sleeping with me, you have no authority. And even then, do they even have the authority? If they are paying your bills, feeding you, sleeping with you, do they still have the authority? I mean, really? You know, Margie says, oh, heck no. <laughs> I'm sorry to cut this short, but I really do need to go. Um, my friend TJ Trace from TJ Explores is having a, a really rough time right now. Um, so I, I need to check on her and make sure she's doing okay. Um, her blood pressure is very high. She just recently got over a mini stroke. Um... And that was not easy to watch. I actually watched her going through the stroke. Um, so, um, and, and last time her blood pressure was high like this. So, uh, Dreamwalking Angel, I'm somewhat of a pushover, but Margie's school of thought of assertiveness training. Yes! 
Oh, Carol, I want to be free. Hi, honey, I love you. I'm so happy you were lurking. Um, Laurie says, I know you were talking about me on Green Bay's channel this morning. I was watching there. Oh, after you hung up. Yes, I was. Um, just got here. I'm sorry. I know Caroline, but I, I really have to go. I will do Sherry Kay. I will tell her that you said hi, Margie and everyone. I love you all so very much. Please take care. Please watch out for each other. Please, you know, think. Positive prayers sending your way to both of you. Oh, thank you ever so much, Blowhole. I love you all so very much. Um, I have to push through if I can. Okay. She's, uh, she's telling me, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just keep doing you, I'm fine. If I need to go, I call you if I feel that bad, but I don't feel safe that, with that. I, I, I need to make sure she's gonna be okay. Um, I will do, I will do, Ginny. So, thank you all ever so much for coming in. I love you all so very much. I'm sorry to cut this kind of quick like this. Um, oh, Sherry Kay, always Team June. Hashtag Team June News. Remember, each of us are fabulous in our own way. When you look somebody in the eye, make sure you can say, I see you because one day that person just might be you and I promise you, you ain't gonna like it. I can tell you that for sure. Um, so, oh, Laurie says, I love Green Bay Wacky, his new call-in show. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I love, I, love to, I love to get down on him. Go with your feelings, June says. Oh, okay, I will do. I see you. Hashtag I see you. Blowhole. Thank you ever so much, everyone, for coming in. And like I said, I'm sorry to cut this short, but I really need to get make sure she's okay. Um, cause she's like us. She's stubborn. She's saying I just gotta push through this. But if nobody's actually sitting there looking at her face, then yeah. So I love you all so very much. Remember, one step at a time, one breath at a time, we, I can do this. I love you all so very much. Oh, blowhole, you're wonderful. I love you. Take care, everybody, and be kind. Be thoughtful, caring, and considerate. Okay, I love you all. Bye.